welcome to day four of the 21 day sprint. The title says sprint, um, but before you sprint, we need to crawl <laughs> and then walk and then run. Sprint. I am 100% sure you'll be able to sprint in the final week, which is week four. Uh, but until then, let's gradually crawl our way in. So you should be familiar with all these things. Join in, say hello. Recordings every day are being uploaded into the Scribble platform. Please to join in. And in the next hour, I'll be hosting Victoria uh, Tory Bunk for the mental health session. So join in if you can. Uh, that's it. So all the stuff are posted in here. Day zero, day one, day two, day three. And today is day four. So we are gradually building up, as I mentioned. We are elevating above the problem state. And that was the theme for week one. And the very first thing that we started is, what am I thinking right now? because this immediately breaks down your reactive mindset because um, uh, when you are when you are sitting down something disturbs you you're starting to think then you think then you think uh, the process of what am i thinking right now putting it in a piece of paper helps because i was down with covid as you know over christmas break second year in a row but i was pondering 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 the moment i had a notepad next to me start to write it switch off it immediately went on so this is a very very useful exercise and the theme for this week is thinking about thinking right so what am i thinking right now day two we we said you no know what it's important attention by far is the most important thing don't let it lose just like that you know try to protect it you need to fight for it every single thing and uh, uh, the point was Again, it's the same thing. You know, over the course of your day, where are you losing attention? What are your distractions? Try to be aware of it so that you could slowly improve your attention span and also cut down your distraction. I'm not expecting you to switch on immediately, but over the next 21 days, if one message one day helps you to get the best out of it, it's good. Or if two or three things helps you, it's even better. Third one, is being bothered. The another way of looking at the same thing is, okay, where do I miss my attention and what am I thinking right now is what's bothering me. Bothering is slightly broader compared to the other things where anything can anything can be bothering thing. And again, um, the, the theme is we need to take action. The very first action is the moment you start to think about it, why this is happening? Why am I losing attention? What am I thinking right now? If this didn't bother me, what would I be doing? Which means it just reminds you of what needs to be done rather than what you are bothering about. So again, that action, that ability to move one step forward from the thing is the key part. That's what we covered yesterday. Today, and again, breathing is, is natural. You know, Gradually try to improve your breathing process. One, two, three, four, there are enough things. And again, even after this video finishes, you can start to improve your breathing. Again, we can touch in some of the basic breathing techniques next week. But for now, just hold to this. Um, try to do three minutes, um, two minutes, whenever you can, and build on. Today's key message is procrastination. So when you say, okay, the question last week, yesterday was, okay, if, if, if you're not bothered, what would you be doing? You know, yes, there are certain things that you will you can do, uh, but the most important thing is procrastination. We sometimes we also procrastinate things. So let me introduce myself. I am Baskar and I am a procrastinator. Do you procrastinate? If you procrastinate, write yes in the activity box, chat box. And I would also try you to take your blank piece and then uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe if you say, no, I don't procrastinate. Everybody <laughs> procrastinates one form of the other. Today's lesson they will, will be very interesting for you because, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tease it gradually. Um, very first thing is, what are you procrastinating right now? Just think about it. Something you need to do, but you have been procrastinating. What is that one thing? First immediate thing is, I just want you to go back to the chat and first of all, confirm that you are a procrastinator because admitting you, you are a procrastinator is the first thing because let's not pretend we all procrastinate, right? And accepting, yes, I do procrastinate is first step. Second is, what are you procrastinating right now, right? 
just take a piece of paper and then write. What are you procrastinating right now? What that one activity? Just take a minute. If you have done, add in the chat box that you've completed. It could be just one task or it could be multiple tasks because this is a month of to-do list. So obviously there could be a lot in your list. But just pick up one or two things that you can work through today. What are you procrastinating right now? So the point here is the very first thing that you need to do in your mind is let's not pretend um, and let's not, let's not assume procrastination is a negative thing, right? Procrastination is a positive thing. It's part of a growth process. That's the key message for today, right? And it's an absolute trigger that you are trying to do something better, but you don't know how to do it. That's why you are sitting on it, you know? So if you know how to do it, you wouldn't procrastinate. You would have done this by now because you're the reason you're procrastinating is this is something that you want to do, but there is something stopping you from doing. So point number one, Accept you are a procrastinator that enables you to think differently. Second one is procrastination is not a negative thing. Okay, those are the two things. So next, what is procrastination? Okay, let's just, let's just have a look because I, 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 I want you to move away from this concept of oh, I'm lazy. You are not. You are not at all. So from my understanding, the word should, you know, you all write bits, you all do different things. But important thing is you either should, Procrast what's procrastination in simplest form? You either shouldn't be doing this, but you're still doing it. So while uh, uh, while you you are switching on your audiobooks, you are watching a YouTube video, you're working. You shouldn't be doing that, um, but you're still doing it. You should do something, but you're not doing it. You know, tomorrow is the deadline, but you still think tomorrow is a deadline where you know that you could do it tomorrow afternoon, but you're just working on it, right? Do you agree with that? So primarily that's the thing. Procrastination primarily is you shouldn't be doing certain things, but you're doing it or you should be doing something and you're not doing it. In very simplest form, that's procrastination. And we all do that. Nobody is doing that. So the question, like in everything that we are doing here is, I know I'm procrastinating. That's good. Second, these are the immediate things that I'm procrastinating right now but I just want you to ask this question. Why am I procrastinating here? Just want to ask you this question, then maybe close your eyes or leave your eyes open and then ponder it, simply observe. 30 seconds, why am I procrastinating? See whether you could get some answers. Why am I procrastinating this particular task? What stopped me from doing it? I just simply observe. Right. Next time you procrastinate, I just want you to simply ask the question is like what you did before. Why am I losing attention? Oh, what's bothering me? If, if I'm not bothered, what would I do? And now you've decided, oh, I'm going to do this, but you're still procrastinating. Why am I procrastinating here? Right. If you have, if you have answered, just add in the chat box that you have answered. But just simply observe. Don't judge. Don't be negative. Just to, just. Put it put in the chat that you have completed it. Why am I procrastinating? Just answer, it's fine. It could it could fall different parts, but we will I, I, I'll share that in the next slide. But for now, the very action of procrast of asking that question breaks the power of procrastination, which oops, okay. The reason I'm procrastinating is this. Boom. You know? 
So every time you have a feeling of procrastination or you know you're procrastinating, you are going to get the chance to understand yourself better. That's the thing that's important here. Because it's very, very normal. You have accepted you are a procrastinator, good. And you know that the reason for procrastination is it's not a negative feeling. You are trying to do something. And now you are aware of it and you're asking yourself, why am I procrastinating? There are, these are some of the reasons. There could be some more answers to it, but these are some of the reasons. You have become aware that this task that you're supposed to do requires higher confidence within you. And maybe today or this week, or maybe today, this moment you lack the confidence. Or this tasks or this project, this thing that I'm trying to do, I need to build my capabilities. I don't currently have the skill sets to do it. The third one is, the reason I procrastinate is I already have enough on my plate, which means the reason I procrastinate this is, is not just because I don't want to, I need to finish those other things to get this done. Right? I've overloaded myself. So number four is, it's not possible. It's in my, I need to ask for help elsewhere. Now, go back to your procrastinating activity. You have already picked up the answer why you are procrastinating for this particular task or project or action or anything. Then identify any of these things could very well be the reason. Because 80, 20, 90, 10, this is what always happens. Your procrastination means, number one, you, you, you don't have the confidence at the moment that you can actually do it. So gradually, you, are, you need to build up a little bit more. Second, you have to build your capability. Third, the reason to procrastinate is, uh, I know I need to do this, but I'm going to do something else instead. Or third one is, I need to ask for help. I need to go elsewhere. Let me know if you have completed or if you have the reason within this. Do you have an answer? Do you believe that the reason you're procrastinating falls into one of those categories? Or is it something else? Yeah, it's always going to be in this category. The, Lydia raises a very, very good point because the reason we procrastinate, we will come to that, Lydia. It's a very, very important. One. Sometimes the truth is exactly why we procrastinate. We don't want to know the truth because it's, it's true. So, the answer lies here. It's always going to be this, which means this is this is where it gets really, really interesting because you're moving from your no zone into a growth zone, right? So you automatically go, you, know, you, you might have seen that, that four box diagram, how people move into X part, into Y part, et cetera. But in very simplest form, there is a fear. Obviously, fear, when you are a state of fear, the important thing is you don't get distracted when you're fear. Have you noticed it? When you are in fear, when you are, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you're not distracted, aren't you? Because it's always fear. You can't learn anything when you're paralyzed, right? Only taking action can alleviate the anxiety. That's what we're asking ourselves. And the only thing that's going to ask ourselves is, why am I? Why am I procrastinating? That's the thing. So your mind is trying to move you from no zone to growth zone. And that's the barrier that you're facing. Procrastination means... You are, congratulations, you are working towards something big. You are working towards something that you don't do now. And that's a positive feeling, right? Procrastination only occurs when you start to envision something that's bigger and better than what we already have, right? This is the point that even Lydia mentioned just now. The reason people don't have big goals is because they want to avoid this negative feeling about themselves because they think procrastination is a bad thing. Because the moment you try to do something, you don't know what to do, you lack confidence, you lack capability, you don't have time and you need extra support to do it. I'm in the procrastination sound. What do I do? I come back to no zone, right? So the important point here is there is a huge, huge, huge correlation between why you are experiencing procrastination, and that means you're moving into a positive zone. So that's why every procrastination drives to you to be good. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, you got the concept. So procrastination, as we talked about, is comes from wanting something bigger and better than you have you right now. Right. So the point here is 
as I mentioned, congratulations, you're ambitious. If you're procrastinating, you're ambitious. And everybody procrastinates means everybody to some form or the other tries to better themselves up, either in a better career, better family life, better health. You know, we all have goals means the very first thing we do is procrastinate, right? You will be pleased to know both the part of being ambition, having procrastination is part of the same growth process. And you should be excited about it. And that's the big thing for today, right? You should be excited about it. Because if you don't, then that's the thing. And people always say the power of why, you know, there's a books about power of why, etc. And the reason is very simply this. Because when you see a goal, when you set a goal, you normally set the goal like, this is what I want to achieve. How? This is what? This is exactly how I need to do it. Uh, what I need to do, when I need to do. But you don't normally see the why. And that's why you get stuck in the why. That's what people say, you need to have a powerful purpose. That's what we say, you need to elevate yourself to a higher problem state to solve the problem. This is why the reason you procrast you get stuck in procrastination is you have to have a stronger why. You need to establish a stronger why that's good enough for you to motivate that change. But the core underlying point here is procrastination and ambition is part of the same growth process and it's very normal for you to go for this. So I just want you to now go back into your procrastination thing and start to work on this. Number one, you are telling the truth that you are procrastinating. Yeah, I am. And I'm proud about it. You know what? Because I know it's part of the ambition. I know it's part of the goal process. And I know I'm trying to be better myself. So I'm procrastinating because I'm trying to invent myself. I know it falls into four categories. And, it, and now I'm going to ask myself, why am I procrastinating because of this? And I just want you to go through this process because you will be procrastinating every day. Yes, and you, I want you to ask this question, why am I procrastinating? And see whether it's a lack of things, then take that action. Because once you take that action, you are actually converting your procrastination towards a big achievement. Right, you got me? And that's the core message for today. So I want you to take every evening or every morning um, at the end of the day saying, you know what, three things that you procrastinated today. Mm. You know what? And then, and then put them into these three but four buckets. Is it because of I lack confidence? <laughs> because of capability? Because of I need to have a ask for help? Or is this the time? And then go into the next one. Once you understand it, then okay, I'm going to now do this because you are Telling yourself, oh, I'm moving from no zone to growth zone. You are, con you are convincing yourself, you are confirming yourself that it's part of the ambition, it's part of the growth process, and I'm going to procrastinate. Which means you are going to come out of this very, very quickly. And that's the core message for today. And I just want you to build it up gradually because the reason is, as we are going to add goals to it, you will be procrastinating. You will be having some issues. And I just want you to accept that you are part of your growth journey when we try to set some goals from week three onward. So now we are, we are cleansing it. Now we are understanding what's happening to us. Procrastination is going to be part of it. And I just want you to observe more and more. Ask the questions again and again to just see what's happening to you. And that's the key message for today. I hope that was useful. And before we move that, any questions, you can add it to the chat. And I will switch on the meditation music in a while. So... As per the exercise, go through what, what needs to be done, which is consciously find the reason why you are procrastinating and you ask the question and you move from there. That's it. So let me close it and we can start to think, you know, good luck in procrastinating and well done for procrastinating. <laughs> That's the main thing. So let me switch on um, five minute meditation. You can find a quiet place and uh, let's just have a good session. Thank you for joining and tuning to the meditation for the day. Allow yourself to take a step back. Take a moment. Take a gentle breath in and out. Continue to breathe naturally and gently as you sit or lie comfortably. 
begin to notice every part of your body and where you may be holding any remaining stress or tension. And now on each breath, focus on a different part of your body and feel the release of the remaining tension in your muscles as you start with your head, moving down through your eyes and releasing tension the muscles in your face. And then slowly down through your shoulders and arms. Moving all the way through and down to your legs and feet. And on the next gentle breath, let any or all of the remaining tension just melt away. Use these moments of focus and comfort to allow yourself to draw attention to these words. Just continuing to breathe gently and naturally, feeling that flow of the breath in and out each time. What is true peace? We so often strive so hard to attain these goals, yet we rarely ask ourselves how peace and happiness are truly represented in our lives. In the busyness of life, we tend to take all that we have for granted and only focus on the negatives associated with what we want but do not have. By taking a few moments each day to focus on gratitude, we can learn to feel an appreciation of the everyday moments all of the time. This mindfulness will lead to a greater sense of contentment and eliminate restlessness and unnecessary unhappiness. Of course, we still must deal with problems and situations as they arise, but removing any unnecessary baggage from our mind will only help us to better focus on the problems that truly need solving. Continuing to gently breathe in and out, focusing on the movement of air and that gentle lift. And as you focus, see the universe from a distance. See the beauty and see yourself as a tiny speck amidst the vastness of space and time. Maybe when we are searching for a grand meaning and purpose, what we are really doing is missing what is right in front of us. What we see, breathe, taste, smell, experience the love between one another when you get lost take a breath take a moment just like this one teach yourself to just be you can be content at peace with nothing but an appreciation for what you already have. Return to these thoughts or to this meditation whenever you need a reminder. 
contentment, and gratitude. Slowly open your eyes. And that's the end of day four. We talked about procrastination and how procrastination is part of a growth process. So that's it. If you are joining next 30 minutes for Victoria Punk session, I'll see you there. Otherwise, have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining today.